My name is Alberto Cárdenas. I'm a dermatologist from the rheumatology department of the University Hospital of the Universidad Autónoma de Nuevo León in Monterrey, Mexico. In this clinical picture, we describe the case of a 58-year-old man who presented to our dermatologic clinic with a 10-month history of discolored skin patches on his chest, progressive weakness, and altered sensation in both legs. He also complained of hyperpigmentation in his arms and episodic face flushing. Physical examination showed four erythematous violaceous skin patches on his chest, painful gynecomastia, axillary lymphadenopathy, and reduced strength in the muscle of his toes and ankles, along with decreased light touch sensation on the soles of his feet. Blood tests showed hyperprolactinemia, and neurological tests revealed demilating neuropathy in both legs. Levels of kappa and lambda light chains were normal. Serum electrophoresis was also normal, but immunofixation showed an IgG lambda restriction band reflecting a monoclonal protein. PET CT scan showed an expansive lytic lesion with the sclerotic borders in the sternum. A biopsy of this lesion was consistent with plasmacytoma. Bone marrow biopsy of the iliac crest was normal. Considering all the findings together, we diagnosed a solitary plasmacytoma of the sternum, causing both POEMS and ISOP syndromes and the patient underwent a four-week course of radiotherapy with partial improvement. POEMS and ISOP are paraneoplastic syndromes associated with plasma cell neoplasms. POEMS syndrome should be suspected in patients presenting with peripheral neuropathy in addition to endocrinological and dermatological manifestations. Single or multiple erythematous villaceous skin patches, especially on the chest, with adenopathy should raise the suspicion of ISOP syndrome. The myriad of seemingly unrelated signs and symptoms can easily confuse physicians and make the diagnosis of these entities a challenge.